Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Hippolyta, DC Comics. Queen Hippolyta is a fictional superhero appearing in American comic books published by DC Comics. The character is based on Hippolyta, Queen of the Amazons from Greek mythology. She is also the mother of Wonder Woman and Donna Troy. This is the only incarnation of this mythological character that ever had a daughter. Publication History Queen Hippolyta first appeared in All-Star Comics and was adapted by William Moulton Marston and Harry G. Peter. Golden and Silver Age Versions The character Hippolyta first appeared in All-Star Comics, the same comic book that introduced her daughter, Wonder Woman. This original version of the character possessed black hair. According to this story, Hippolyte and the Amazons once resided in Amazonia, in the days of ancient Greece, until they were beguiled and bested by the demigod Hercules, who had been inspired by the god of war Oz, now named Mars, to go after her. She was able to beat him thanks to the magic girdle, but he seduced her and tricked her into removing the girdle, allowing him to steal it. This caused them to lose their super strength and favor of their patron goddess, Aphrodite. Eventually she and the other Amazons were forgiven, but had to wear bracelets to remind them of the folly of submitting to men. To regain their status, the Amazons were decreed to leave the mortal world and relocate to Paradise Island. There they established their own society, free from the evils of man's world. So long as they remained there and Hippolyte retained possession of her magic girdle, the Amazons would be immortal. Much of this history was adapted, varied, and expanded upon in the modern version of the Wonder Woman comics. For the most part, Hippolyte remained on Paradise Island during the Golden Age era, rarely interacting with the modern world to which her daughter had journeyed. Her role was that of the Amazon Queen, a mentor to Wonder Woman. She was devoted to the Olympian goddesses, particularly the Amazon's patron Aphrodite, and was adamant that man never be allowed to set foot on Paradise Island. Although she remained mainly on the island, in one memorable story, from Sensation Comics 6, Hippolyte travels to Man's World and briefly assumes the role of Wonder Woman. In the first appearance of Villainy Inc. she is kidnapped to lure Wonder Woman into a trap. In the 1960s when DC Comics introduced the concept of the multiverse, this Hippolyte was established as existing on the world known as Earth 2. This incarnation of Hippolyte was phased out around issue 7 of the original Wonder Woman comic, when the focus shifted from Earth 2 to the more modern versions of the characters on Earth 1. The Silver Age Hippolyte continued thereafter and had blonde hair. Her history was largely identical to the Golden Age version, though a few significant Silver Age stories diverge from the original. For example, it was established that Hippolyta had crafted a second daughter from clay, a dark-skinned Amazon named Nubia who was to be Wonder Woman's twin sister before she was spirited away by the god Mars. She was also the adopted mother of Donna Troy, who had been rescued from a fire and brought to Paradise Island, as before. Hippolyta's role in the Silver Age era was primarily that of Paradise Island's queen and mentor to Wonder Woman. She was frequently shown interacting with her daughter as well as supporting characters of the era such as Wonder Girl and Wonder Tot. According to the DC Comics 1976 calendar, Hippolyta was born on January 8. Hippolyta was also instrumental in several of the continuity shake-ups for the Earth-1 Wonder Woman, and raged that her daughter, recovering from amnesia, had submitted to trials by the Justice League to prove her worth to rejoin 
she created her own test which involved resurrecting Steve Trevor to lead an assault on Paradise Island. The goddess Aphrodite granted Diana's wish to allow the resurrected Trevor to continue living after Trevor had again been killed and a grief-stricken Diana returned home, Hippolyta erased Diana's memories of him, when a Trevor from a parallel universe burst through the barriers between worlds and crashed off Paradise Island, Hippolyta asked Aphrodite to alter the memories of the entire world to allow the new Trevor to embark upon a life on Earth-1. The hip leaders of both universes used a magic sphere which could peer into the past and future. In 1985, the Crisis on Infinite Earths miniseries revised DC Comics history and combined the multiple Earths into one world. The modern version of Hippolyta would combine elements of her earlier incarnations and take on greater importance in the series. Origin Hippolyta's origins underwent a revision after writer George Perez revamp of Wonder Woman in 1987. In that continuity, Hippolyta and the rest of the Themyscirian Amazons were created by a select group of the Olympian gods, which included Artemis, Athena, Hestia, Demeter, and Aphrodite. These goddesses reincarnated the souls of women gathered by the Earth goddess Gia. They sent these souls to the bottom of the Aegean Sea. The souls then began to merge with the clay on the seabed. The first reincarnated Amazon to break the surface was Hippolyta, and thus she was titled as Queen of the New Race. In this version Hippolyta stood 5, 9, weighed approximately 130 pounds, had curly black hair and more. The second Amazon to break the surface was her sister Antiope and she ruled at Hippolyta's side. Each of the goddesses then blessed the Amazon nation with gifts, hunting skills, wisdom, warm homes, plentiful harvests, and beauty inside and out. As a symbol of their responsibilities, the goddesses gave Hippolyta and Antiope each a golden girdle of gear. The Amazons eventually founded the city of Themyscira in Anatolia, and became known as fierce warriors of peace in Turkey, Greece and Rome. Rape Dot. The jealous and vengeful goddess tried to drive a wedge between Amazons and other civilizations by influencing his half-brother, the demigod Heracles, to challenge the Amazons. When Heracles first approached the Amazons seeking battle, Hippolyta met him outside the city gates and tried to employ peaceful negotiations. When this did not work, Heracles attacked the Amazon queen. Hippolyta easily turned the tables on him by using her wisdom and battle skills to subdue him. Still wishing peace, Hippolyta invited Heracles and his men into their city to celebrate a potential friendship with a feast. Heracles seemingly accepted the invitation. Once in their city, Heracles and his men drugged the Amazons' wine and took them prisoner. After the theft of Hippolyta's golden girdle and abuse and rape of the Amazons, Hippolyta cried out to Athena to help them escape their bonds. Athena said that she would only aid them on the condition that the Amazons not seek retribution against Heracles and his men as that would be beneath the ideals the Amazons. Hippolyta agreed, and her bonds were broken. Hippolyta freed the other Amazons. The Amazons, however, were filled with hate and the desire for revenge, breaking Hippolyta's oath to Athena. The Amazons began slaughtering their captors. After they had killed all the men keeping them prisoners, Antiope renounced all ties to the Olympian gods and said goodbye to her sister Hippolyta, giving Hippolyta her golden girdle of gear to replace the one stolen by Heracles. She left to pursue vengeance, intending to kill Heracles and Theseus. Antiope's tribe later became the Amazons of Banamidal.
godly penance. Hippolyta and the remaining faithful Amazons then went to the seashore, where Athena told them their punishment for betraying their ideals. They were to be given immortality so that they could forever safeguard a doorway to a place of unspeakable evil. The doorway was on a far-off isolated island and it took months to get there. To guide the way, the god Poseidon cleared a pathway for them across the seas. Once they arrived, the Amazons created a new city and named their new home Themyscira. After their previous fallen city, the Amazons continued to live on the island guarding this doom's doorway and paying homage to their gods for 3,000 years. Diana's birth Thumb sometime after the 1940s, Hippolyta began to ache for something unknown. She was told by the oracle Menelik that the yearning she felt was for her unborn daughter. She was instructed to go to the beach and form a figure of an infant out of the island's clay. The original five goddesses, plus Hermes, united to incarnate and bless this final soul. They imbued it with many gifts and merged it with the clay form and, just as with the previous Amazons, the clay was changed into flesh and blood. Hippolyta named the child Diana, after a great and holy warrior, a stranger who had washed ashore on the island and died helping the Amazons defeat Cotis, a creature escaping Doom's doorway. This Diana was later revealed to be the mother of Steve Trevor. Return of Heracles During Diana's challenge of the gods storyline, she discovered that Heracles was transformed into a colossal stone pillar within Doom's doorway, and was supporting Themyscira's weight for several millennia. In this state he was tormented and scarred by various mythological creatures, feeling the pain inflicted by them, but not being able to do anything about it. This was the punishment given to him for his past transgressions. Thanks to Diana, Hippolyta, and the Lasso of Truth, he was restored to his original form and begged the Amazons for forgiveness. Though some of the Amazons still harbored anger for their past humiliation, most of them were moved by Heracles' newfound humility, and Queen Hippolyta asked her people to search their hearts for the strength to forgive which they almost immediately did. Doing so herself, Hippolyta not only forgave Heracles but shared a brief kiss with him before he left the mortal realm to return to his father in Olympus. Return to the Outside World after Diana's completion of her challenge, the Amazons were released from their punishment by the Olympian gods. They were free to live out their lives any way they saw fit while retaining their immortality. To celebrate, Hippolyta declared that Themyscira would finally create cultural exchange with the outside world. Diana became Themyscira's ambassador to the UN. In spreading the Amazon ideals of love and peace, Diana made a powerful enemy, the sorceress Circe. One of Circe's attacks on Diana involved the brainwashing of Hippolyta, transforming her into the second Shimta, or chief warrior, of the Amazons of Banamidal. In this persona, Hippolyta attacked Diana, and was defeated by a ricochet from Diana's bracelets. Circe considered all Amazons to be her enemy and later made a new plan for revenge. She teleported the Amazons of Banamidal to Themyscira on the pretense that they were to take the island. While the two groups fought, Circe teleported the island to a dimension of demons. There the two groups of Amazons were forced to put aside their rivalry in order to stave off the demons' attacks. The Amazons remained in the demon dimension until Diana discovered what had happened and forced Circe to return the island back to its rightful dimension. They found upon the return that although their time in the demon dimension lasted several years, 
The time passed in our dimension was only a few months. In this time the Themyscirian and Banamidalian Amazons made an uneasy truce. The Themyscirians would live in the city while the Banamidalians would form their own settlement on the opposite side of the island. In Hippolyta's mind she still served as queen over all Amazons on the island, but the Banamidali and Amazons did not see it as such, and tensions between the two tribes remained. Motherly Deception Because the demon dimension they were in was magic-based, Hippolyta began to receive dreams and visions of the future. In one such dream she foresaw Wonder Woman's death, fearful for her daughter's welfare, she put into motion a plan to remove Diana from her role as Wonder Woman and replace the title of Themyscira as champion to another Amazon. Thus a new contest for the title was made though she kept her true reasons for calling the new contest to herself alone. Initially Hippolyta thought the Amazons of Banamidal were not worthy to enter the contest but when Diana, angered at her mother's treatment of the new Amazons, called a vote on the whole to see if her people also agreed that they should be allowed to participate, the answer was yes. Suddenly inspired, Hippolyta noticed that the Banamidalians' most likely warrior to win was the Amazon Artemis. Hippolyta then in secret went to the Themyscirian Amazon mystic Megala. She had Megala transfer half of Diana's gods given powers over to Artemis in order for Artemis' victory to be better equipped. Hippolyta also provided many additional obstacles for Diana to encounter during her contest trials in order for her to become sidetracked from the goal of winning. Due to her actions, Artemis became the contest's winner and the new champion Wonder Woman. Later, when Diana began to receive visions of the past, she confronted her mother on why she really called for a new contest. When Hippolyta told her she and Diana's relationship became scarred as Diana never truly forgave her mother for knowingly sending another Amazon to her death. Wonder Woman after Artemis was killed in battle the title of Wonder Woman was returned to Diana. This sent Hippolyta into a deep depression as she realized she was the cause of an innocent's death. Hippolyta gave command to the Amazon general Philippus and went into self-imposed banishment. Hippolyta boarded a small boat and let it cast adrift. She eventually landed in Louisiana, where she met a psychic named Angela. After becoming friends with Angela and her family, Angela informed Hippolyta that her daughter was in serious danger. Rushing to her aid, Hippolyta arrived too late to save Diana from the demon Neron, as Diana was still suffering from the spell that had reduced her strength. Thus, Hippolyta's vision of her daughter dying as Wonder Woman came true. From Wonder Woman 30. Art by John Byrne and Patricia Mulberhill. Diana, after her death, was granted divinity as the goddess of truth by her gods for such faithful devotion. During her brief time as a god of Olympus, Diana was replaced in the role of Wonder Woman by her mother, as opposed to Diana receiving the title in honor. Hippolyta's role as Wonder Woman was meant to be a punishment for her betrayal in Artemis' death as well as for unintentionally killing her own daughter. However, Hippolyta eventually grew to enjoy the freedom and adventure the title came with. Whereas Diana used the lasso of truth as her primary weapon, Hippolyta favored a broad sword and wore a short blue skirt instead of briefs. John Byrne, the writer that introduced the concept of Hippolyta as the first Wonder Woman, has explained his intentions in a post in his message board, I thought George one mistake in rebooting Wonder Woman was making her only 25 years old when she left Paradise Island. I preferred the idea of a Diana who was thousands of years old. From that angle, 
I would have liked to have seen Diana having been Wonder Woman in WW2, and be returning to our world in the reboot. Not having that option, I took the next best course, and had Hippolyta fill that role as Wonder Woman. Queen Hippolyta immediately got involved in a time travel mission back to the 1940s with Jay Garrick. After this mission, she elected to join the Justice Society of America and remained in that era for eight years, where her teammates nicknamed her Polly. During that time she had a relationship with Ted Grant. Hippolyta also made visits into the past to see her godchild Lita, daughter of Hippolyta's protege Helena, the Golden Age Fury. These visits happened yearly from young Lita's perspective and also accounted for Hippolyta's participation in the JSA, JLA team-ups. When she returned from the past, Hippolyta took Diana's place in the JLA as well, and Hippolyta share an intimate moment. Art by Phil Jimenez Eventually Diana gave up her godhood and returned to her role as Wonder Woman. Still clinging to her newfound sense of freedom, Hippolyta did not wish to relinquish her title as Wonder Woman, leaving two different Wonder Women acting in the same role at the same time. Diana was often unhappy with Hippolyta's continued role as Wonder Woman as she felt Hippolyta was ignoring her true duties as ruler of Themyscira, thus further inciting the antagonism between mother and daughter. Around this time Hippolyta discovered that the hero, Donna Troy was actually a mirror image of her daughter Diana, brought to life through Themyscirian sorceries. Though Hippolyta had met Donna on previous adventures, when the two women met again after learning this fact, Hippolyta accepted Donna as a second daughter and held her coronation on the island, proclaiming Donna to be the second Amazon princess and an heir to the Themyscirian throne. On one visit to the island, Diana discovered that the two tribes of Amazons were on the verge of a civil war due to unresolved issues, and mysterious acts of sabotage made on the Banamidalians' construction of their city. When both Diana and Donna confronted Hippolyta about her inaction of rule, at such a dangerous time, Hippolyta became very upset with her two daughters, and told them that she intended to continue her role as Wonder Woman in the outside world and that Diana and Donna were to rule the island in her absence. Unfortunately the civil war took place after all and many Amazons on both sides were killed. Returning to the island, Hippolyta and Diana agreed to denounce their royal titles in order for both Amazon tribes to have an opportunity for peace, having both tribes gain equal footing in united rule. Death Hippolyta continued to establish a distinguished career as Wonder Woman. The Queen enjoyed her role in the Justice Society and became accustomed to life in the United States. Mother and daughter fought on several occasions over Hippolyta's past expected roles hero or queen and their differences were unresolved. When the Queen sacrificed herself to save the Earth from Imperiax, during the Imperiax War featured in Our Worlds at War. Ironically Hippolyta died, at the birthplace of the Amazons, near the Aegean Sea in Greece. However she was allowed, to see her daughter one last time and say goodbye. She, the spirit of her sister Antiope, and Steve Trevor's mother Diana Rockwell Trevor became ghostly guardians of the island watching over both tribes as their distant and former queens. One year later, as part of the Amazons' attack storyline, the witch Cersei revived Hippolyta and showed her that the US government illegally kidnapped her daughter Diana. She was being tortured until she gave over the plans on how the US Government could create their own purple ray to be used as a weapon. Angered over this, 
Hippolyta resumed leadership of the Amazons and had them attack the city of Washington, D.C. in the hopes of rescuing Diana and serving their own form of justice against the world. For their actions, they are shown using winged steeds and other mythical creatures. During battle Hippolyta discovered that Circe had secretly planned to detonate a nuclear weapon on Themyscira and gained her revenge on the traitor by impaling the sorceress with a battle spear through the chest. Wonder Woman has an opportunity to kill her mother, but does not take it, instead giving the knife to Hippolyta, who will not kill her daughter. Despite the fact that Circe is supposedly dead, Hippolyta seems fully intent on continuing her assault on the United States, even issuing an attack on other locations, including Kansas. Her more chaotic and malicious actions start to concern her Amazon generals. It is later learned that Circe used a portion of her own soul to revive Hippolyta from death. Because of this Hippolyta's persona was tainted by the witch's evil, and thus Hippolyta is now a more bloodthirsty being than before. At the conclusion of the war all of the Amazons are given false identities and scattered throughout the world. Hippolyta is spared, but is banished to live alone on Themyscira by what appears to be Athena, but is later revealed to be the villainous Granny Goodness, who along with the other new gods of Apocalypse have imprisoned the Greek deities. In Countdown to Final Crisis, Hippolyta lives in hiding from Granny Goodness and her new brand of Amazons. Human recruits being trained as a new generation of her female furies. With the help of island castaways Holly Robinson, Harley Quinn and a powerless Mary Marval, Hippolyta is able to drive Granny out of Thermosyra and back to Apocalypse. After the Greek gods are freed by Mary, Granny is murdered by the mysterious god-killer, leaving Hippolyta once more as the Queen of Themyscira. The Circle During her isolation Hippolyta travels to the four corners of Themyscira, speaking to an Amazon prisoner at each point, asking them if they repent, to which each prisoner replies, never. However, the fourth and last prisoner, whom Hippolyta identifies as Alki One, presents her with a wooden tiara with the words, Our Queen, across it similar to the one she and Diana both wore as Wonder Woman. Alkiwan tells Hippolyta, since she denied her the use of any blades, she gnawed in the inscription with her teeth. She goes on to accuse Hippolyta of betrayal for birthing the dragon, which clearly is a reference to Diana. Alkiwan begs her to kill Diana and let them be tribe again. But Hippolyta adamantly refuses. Alki One then tells Hippolyta to tell Diana the truth. But again Hippolyta refuses and breaks the wooden tiara in half. As she leaves, Alki One vows to save Hippolyta and make them a tribe again by killing Diana. Alki One's past reveals her to have been a member of Hippolyta's royal guard along with three other Amazons, Mertu, Karis, and Philomela, charged with her personal protection. They were viewed as too brutal-minded and overzealous by General Philippus, captain of the General Amazon Guard, a viewpoint that was later proven when Alkiwan learned that Hippolyta desired a child. This came to a head when Alkiwan learned from the Amazon source Cyrus Megala that another Amazon named Jen had supposedly given birth to a daughter but it turned out the baby was nothing more than a clay doll carved in the image of a child. Concluding Zhen had gone mad, Alkiwan ordered that no such dolls were ever to be crafted on Themyscira again. After that, she ordered Zhen to be killed. In the present day, the army of Captain Nazi lands on Themyscira, intending to claim it for themselves. Alerted to their arrival, Hippolyta cuts her hair and readies herself for battle, and vows to redeem herself for all the mistakes she has made since her resurrection. 
Elsewhere on the island, Alki-1 offers her help and the rest of the former royal guard to the soldiers in hunting down Hippolyta in exchange for their release. Wonder Woman, the movie In Wonder Woman issues 24 and 25, there is a movie being made about Diana. In the beginning of issue 24, Diana brings Thomas Andrew Tresser home to meet her mother. Queen Hippolyta. Hippolyta takes Tressa and leaves Diana alone on the beach. This is her opportunity to get to know the man in whom her daughter has become interested. The getting to know him phase includes taking Tom to the royal menagerie to hand feed griffins of myth. While there Hippolyta asks rather directly if he and Diana have made love yet. Flustered he is able to honestly answer that they haven't. She asks Tom, will you protect her, keep her from harm, if you are able, he replies, yes. That I can promise. Although it usually goes the other way, round. To be blunt, before he leaves she gives him a spear she has made, grants him the title Sir Thomas of Cleveland, and makes him a guardsman of Themyscira. As Diana and Tom prepare to leave she requests one thing of her new guardsmen, babies as many as he and Diana can create as quickly as they can create them. As they leave the island Alki-1 is seen watching them from shore as they float away on a giant shell. Past Imperfect Following the events of Wonder Woman 00, the timeline is altered by the Greek gods, and Hippolyta's history is radically changed once again. Here, Themyscira is invaded by a heavily armed paramilitary group while Diana is still a child, and the majority of the Amazons are wiped out in the ensuing battle. Hippolyta is able to save Diana by entrusting her to several of her servants, who smuggle the child to the United States in the midst of the attack, but Hippolyta herself is ultimately captured by the enemy soldiers. After being bound and presented to the leader of the invaders, Hippolyta commits suicide by throwing herself into a massive fire being used to incinerate the dead Amazons, choosing to die rather than submit to her captors. After Wonder Woman's exile and the altered continuity is reversed, Hippolyta is briefly restored to her modern age origins, greeting her daughter back and approving the changes she had done to her attitude and appearance during her ordeal. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.